For most of my life, I was making coffee with a mocha pot wrong. It was bitter, disgusting, and most of the time ended up down the sink. I never knew that a few simple tweaks in your mocha pot technique could be the secret to unlocking a world of flavor and delicious brews. So dust off your mocha pot that's hidden away at the back of a cupboard, because today we're diving deep into the art of mocha pot brewing. By the end of this video, you'll be a master brewer and know all the secrets to making the most delicious coffee with a mocha pot. Welcome back, I'm Lizzie, and I'm all about helping you make better coffee at home. If you're new here and want to learn more about making delicious coffee, then hit the subscribe button for the latest videos. But this isn't just about brewing coffee, it's about transforming your morning ritual. And the best part? It's surprisingly simple. Let's demystify our mocha pot. This classic Italian brewer is a symbol of timeless coffee tradition. It works on a principle of pressure and steam that might sound complex, but is actually pretty straightforward. The magic happens when water in the lower chamber heats up, building pressure that pushes through the coffee grounds, creating that rich, robust flavor we all crave. There's only a few steps to making a delicious pot of mocha coffee, but the big changes lie in the small details. Now let's gather our brewing essentials, water, coffee beans, a grinder, and your mocha pot. Think of these as the key ingredients to a culinary masterpiece. The secret? Freshly ground beans. Choosing coffee beans can feel like navigating a maze, but let's simplify it. For a delicious mocha pot coffee, medium to dark roasts are your friends, bringing out those beloved chocolatey nutty notes. And today we've got a special treat. Sumatra Mandolin Reserve Dark Roast Beans. Perfect for the mocha pot. We've currently got 20% off these and some other delicious coffees. Just use the promo code on screen and click the link in the description. Grind size is where the big transformation happens. You want a grind that's just right. Think table salt. Not too coarse, not too fine. This ensures a perfect extraction, giving you that strong, flavorful cup without the risk of over-extracting or clogging. And if you don't have a grinder, no worries, just request a fine grind from your coffee roaster, but remember, not espresso grind. We're going with a three on the Fellow Ode brew grinder. You want the coffee to look something similar to this. When filling the mocha pot's filter, remember tamping is a no-go. It can obstruct water flow and lead to uneven extraction. Just fill and level it off. Here's a game changer that's often overlooked, water quality. It makes up the majority of your drink, so if you've got bad water, you're not gonna end up with the best brew. But you'll be surprised to know it's not just about taste, it's about honoring your mocha pot. Not only does using filtered or bottled water take your coffee from average to delicious, but it keeps your mocha pot in top shape, avoiding mineral buildups from tap water. You can pick these up relatively cheap, and since I've been using filtered water like this here, I've noticed a big difference. Now here's a simple trick with big results. This made a huge difference to my brews. Start with preheated water. I've been super lazy with this in the past, but there's a very good reason for doing it. It reduces the brewing time, preventing bitterness and ensuring a smoother cup. All that time the water's heating up, the coffee beans are heating up too, and that extra heat can end up scorching your beans. It's just a small change, but it makes a big difference. Just make sure to be careful when handling the mocha pot at this point. It's not insulated, so use a tea towel or some oven gloves, or you'll burn your hand, which I unfortunately know from personal experience. Here's a crucial tip. Prevent boiling at all costs. A coffee boiled is a coffee spoiled. Keep your stove on a medium to low heat. So if you're using a gas hob, make sure the flames stay under the pot and don't wrap around the sides. This simple attention to detail can dramatically improve your coffee's taste. God damn, Jimmy. This some serious gourmet shit. As soon as the coffee starts to emerge, turn your heat source down low as it goes, and at the first sign of splutter, remove it from the heat. And you can run it under a cold tap at this point to stop the brewing process. This is the moment where your coffee goes from good to incredible. The next point is something I never thought of, and it's made a huge difference to my mocha pot results. The first lot of coffee to come out of the pot is very strong, and by the end of the brewing stage, it's a lot weaker. Give your coffee a gentle stir after brewing in the upper chamber. This blends the layers of coffee. It's a quick, easy step with a big impact on your cup's quality. If you don't do this, you're going to end up with strong coffee at the bottom and weak coffee at the top. You'll notice with a mocha pot that you're gonna get less coffee out than the water that you put in. Say for 280 grams of water, you may get out around 200 grams of coffee. 
This is because a fair amount of water is soaked up into the beans during the brewing process. Let's talk cleaning. Essential for keeping your mocha pot in prime condition. Just rinse with hot water after each use, no soap needed. And remember, the dishwasher is an absolute no-go zone for your mocha pot. It will wreck the seal and you'll get coffee sputtering out of the middle. A little care goes a long way in preserving the quality of your coffee. I encourage you to experiment and find your personal preference. The keys to exceptional coffee, as always, are good quality water, the right beans, and perfecting your technique. I'll put a link down below to the coffee that we use today. Give it a go yourself, it's delicious and it's absolutely perfect in a mocha pot. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay up to date with the latest coffee tips. Until next time, keep brewing, experiment, and keep exploring the endless possibilities of coffee. See you next time.